What's up everyone, I want to jump in here and give you a quick start in Moonlight. If you're new to the app and show you exactly what it can do, we're going to do some basic stuff, but there's a lot more to uncover as you get started. So when you jump in, first of all, there's not going to be any recipes, nothing's here. So the first thing we want to do is create a recipe. A recipe represents our candle design. So we're going to call this one Desert Moon, we're going to go for kind of a Western theme. And we're going to select our wax. I'm going to use Nature Wax C3 for this candle. Fragrance oil is going to be cactus, cactus, flower, and jade. This is a candle science recipe. Our fragrance oil can be anywhere from 0 to 12%. Most waxes really shouldn't be holding more than that anyways. We're going to go for a nice cool 6%. We're going to make this a container candle. And the vessel, I'm just going to call it the white glass. I have something that I just kind of refer to as white glass. But a name that you can remember so that when you look at like what the supplies are, you'll know what we're talking about here. The vessel capacity. Now this is a little interesting. This is how much total candle it can hold minus the weight of the vessel itself. So normally you would just fill it with water and multiply that number by 0.86. That's the number you want to put in here. It represents the weight of the wax plus the weight of the fragrance. The vessel capacity, which I measured ahead of time, is actually exactly 200 grams. Now you can do ounces or grams. I'm gonna use grams. Now the wick for this candle is a CDN7. That's the wick. I figured that out a long time ago. And we're gonna add some color. We're gonna add a little bit of color, you know, kind of that desert theme. We're gonna have a tan at drops per pound, pretty light. We'll say three drops per pound. Now I'm gonna create the recipe. Now we have a recipe. We can see all the specifications of our recipe here, but this does us no good. This doesn't help us make any candles. It doesn't do any reasonable math for us. So what we wanna do, if we wanna create candles with this recipe, is create a batch. So from the recipe itself, from the page, I can create new batch. Now, we don't have to name the batch. Moonlight will automatically tag all of the recipe generated batches with an auto-generated name. But if you wanna have something that's a little more specific to your style, you can do that here. I'm going to leave it blank. And we're going to create a batch size of eight candles. I don't have any notes, nothing to add. But if I wanted to add some notes here, you know, for maybe the pour date or something like that, if I wasn't referencing Moonlight in any way, I could add that here. I'm just going to continue. Continue brings us to a page where we can review the loadout for this candle. Now, based on all of the specifications in our recipe, for a batch of eight candles, Moonlight has determined we will need 1,509 grams of wax and 91 grams of fragrance oil. I can view that in ounces if I'm working that way as well. It'll tell us we need eight CDN seven wicks, we need eight containers, and because of our three drops per pound, we need 10 to 11 drops because of how it calculates the total weight of everything and what we're putting in there. 10 to 11 because drops aren't a super precise measurement and it's kind of the low end and the high end, 10 to 11 drops. When I create this batch, I now have a batch tied to my recipe. So I'm going to kind of show you what this looks like from the front end. From the home page, I can see my recipe at the top, or I have one recipe. If I click on that, it takes me to the recipes page, which I can get to down here. If I click on the recipe, I now can go to batches and see the batch that we just created here. So I'm going to click on that. When I'm here, you guys, I can see everything related to this batch, which includes all the candles that are generated by it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And they all have unique IDs and I can track them individually with notes or badges or whatever I need to do to distinguish them in my personal notes. I'm not gonna do anything right now. But when I go to actually create this batch of candles from this batch page, I have exactly what I need to know. I need to know that I have this much wax and this much fragrance. It, guys, it does all the math for us. We, we, we told it from our recipe that we wanted a 6% fragrance load. You can check the math now. 91 divided by 1509 is 6%. Or as close as we can get to it with an 8 candle batch. So that's all I want to show you for now. That's like the quick way to go to get started. Create a recipe and create your batch and create your candles. You can take notes. There's a lot more to discover inside of Moonlight and I'm excited to share that with you. So please let me know in the comments if you have any questions or, or send me an email um, and I'm happy to talk. Bye-bye.